the chair just needs to go back a bit, doesn't it? Good morning, everyone. Hello. How are we all? We all feel all right. It's lovely Friday morning. It's lovely and sunny outside. People are out walking the dogs. Good. So we're here to do an exercise session with you today. So my name is Matt. I'm the exercise instructor. And I'm Jodie, one of the cardiac nurses. And we're from the West Suffolk Community Cardiac Rehabilitation Team, which many of you probably know that by now. <laughs> so as I said, we're here to do an exercise session with you today. This, so this is the lower intensity uh, assisted standing or seated version of the exercise. Brilliant. So before we get going, we just want to go through all the checks and everything. So um, as usual, so just make sure that you've familiarised yourself with um, the description section because that's where we contain all our checklists there. So just make sure that you're feeling well enough and, um, and comfortable enough to do the exercise this morning. We do have a nurse on triage, so if you've got any queries, any concerns, then don't be afraid to give her a call on, on the number that you have for us in your patient booklets. Um, just make sure that you've got a glass of water to hand just to keep nicely hydrated throughout the session. It's very important. It is with the weather's getting warmer, so it's really important that you are keeping well hydrated now with the exercising, especially. Um, similarly, make sure that you've got a nicely vented room as well. So open the window up a little bit, make sure that you've got a bit of air coming through and um, because you will get a little bit warmer as we as we go through the sessions. Um, and last thing, just make sure you've got some decent footwear as well. So I know you're indoors, I know you're at home, um, but it's really important that you do have some secure rubber sole to footwear on as we do the exercises today. And they're done up, unlike mine, which are now <laughs> done up. <laughs> Good, so yeah, as Jay said, it is getting a bit warmer, so yeah, just make sure you keep yourself nice and cool. Um, as we go through, all right, we're going to do a 10 minute warm up. We're going to do that 10 minute circuit and then we're going to have a 10 minute cool down. During that circuit part, okay, so we're going to be doing one minute of aer aerobic activity or cardiovascular activity, followed by one minute active recovery. During the active recovery parts of the exercise, okay, you can use light weights, things like tins of beans. We've got some fancy dumbbells, or you could use a couple of bottles of water. A 500 ml bottle of water is about half a kilogram, and a litre bottle of water is about a kilo, as modeled by Jody here. There we go. Um, so just select something that's going to be suitable. Don't need any big weights or anything like that. It's just to give yourself a bit of active recovery. Jody's going to use the water bottles today anyway. I'm going to use the fancy weights. Good, all right, so yeah, just make sure you're ready, make sure you've cleared some good space around you, make sure you've got that chair, so even if you're going to do a full standing part, it's really important to have that chair with you just to help you balance, but also we're going to, when we come into the cool down, we're going to do five minutes still standing, if you're doing the standing version, but then we're all going to come see, just, just make sure you've got that dining room chair somewhere nearby, okay? Throughout the session, for those of you that are in the seated, um, if you need to relax back at any point, then that's absolutely fine. You can relax back, but it's very important that you keep your feet moving at the same time, okay? And then when you're ready, you can wriggle forward back into that working position. We'll keep referring to working position, and what we mean by that is sitting in a nice upright position, sucking in your tummy muscles a little bit just to engage the core muscles, 90 degree angle with, uh, with our knees, and the um, knees in line with your ankles, okay? Um, and just sitting in that nice upright position. Good, and finally, our third colleague of the team, okay, is our board scan, all right? So always having to refer to that as we go through the exercise session. So as we move up, okay, through the warm up, we're gonna go up the gears towards that light sort of area of activity, maintaining to ignite a somewhat hard twist as we go to the uh, main phase of the activity, that circuit part in the middle. And then as we go into the cool down, bringing it back down the gears again. Make sure that you can always talk or do any activity, all right? If you find things a little bit too much and you're getting out of breath, just reduce down that pace. Remember, you can either switch between the seated and the assisted standing at any point. So if you find things are getting a little bit too difficult with standing, you can follow Jody with the seated. Some people like to just change when they're doing the active recovery exercises because you need to use your upper body. It's more difficult to support yourself. You might want to join Jody to do her version, but we're all going to do the same exercise together. Brilliant. Excellent. All right, so we are going to start with our warm ups. So make sure you've got that chair, you've got your glass of water nearby, okay? Uh, you've cleared the room between, you know, so you've got plenty of space around you, and we're going to start just wiggling those feet, getting a little bit of movement in there. However, have a march of the feet if you're standing or if you're sitting, you can just have a little toe tap. Good. All right, so we're going to go with some little toe taps out in front. So, toe tapping out in front, as always, I'm going to pop up from the chair every now and again just to scare you and just make sure you're keeping nice and awake. And also, you can see my feet, but you can clearly see Jodie's feet. There they are. <laughs> Remember, keep everything lovely and slow to begin with. You're just mobilising those joints, slowly warming things up. Nothing too strenuous at this point. You use that chair for support as always. 
and we're going to go back to your walk again, so back to that walk. And then we'll go for some little toe taps out to the side, so toe tap out to the side. Remember, keep within a comfortable range of movement. If it's painful in your hips, just go back to those toe taps out in front. We'll not be penalised for it. Good. A couple more. And let's go back to that walk again. So just walking those feet. And then we're going to go for some heel digs out in front. So heel digging out in front. Heels down to the floor this time. Toes off the floor. So as we do a lot of marching, okay, if you're doing the seated version, you might find that it really starts to make your thighs quite achy. You can switch into a heel dig or a toe tap, and that will just help to relieve things off, working those muscles in a slightly different way. Remember, it's your exercise session. You do what feels comfortable for you. Absolutely. Excellent. Let's go back to that march again then. So back to that march, marching those feet. Just picking up that pace just slightly if you're feeling lovely and comfortable. Good. We're going to go back to those toe taps out to the side. Tapping one foot out to the side and then the other. And if you want a little bit more of a challenge, you can get one toe to tap to the side and one toe to tap out in front. One toe taps out in front and one taps to the side. Take it at your own pace and your comfortable range of movement, remember. I'm sure you can. And then we'll change those feet around, so changing those feet around, so the other one's going out to the side and the other one goes out in front. You might want to march your feet in the middle just to uh, help reset your brain before you start doing the other way around. This helps to improve your coordination slightly. And then we're going to go back to that march again. Back to your march, marching those feet. Very good. So if you're doing the standard version, you can give you some little toe taps out behind. If you're doing the seated, you can have some toe taps out in front or some heel digs out in front, depending on how you're feeling. Use that chair for support, remember. Very good, and let's go back to that march again. So march on this feet, and what we can do is just bring the little arm swing, so either one arm if you're standing and you want to keep one hand in contact with the chair, or both arms if you're seated or feeling lovely and comfortable. If you do find yourself getting a bit breathless while doing this, leave the arms out, just do the legs. Still going to get all the benefits of sticking between that sort of nice comfortable level. Good. So we're going to go back to our heel digs out in front again. So heel digging out in front, and this time we can bring in just a little arm swing, okay, or a bicep curl. And as always, if you start to become breathless, just leave the arms out, go back to those leg movements only. You can always keep one hand in contact with the chair as you do this. Just help them get balanced slightly if you need to. Good. And let's go back to that march again. So swing of those arms if you're feeling comfortable. And we're going to go for some of those knee raises. So use your chair for support, little knee raises. Remember, if you're doing the seated version, just very, very low raise of those knees. If you find that a little bit uncomfortable in your hips or your knees or your thighs, then you can just go back to those toe taps out in front. And a couple more, and back to that march again, give those arms a good old swing, if you're feeling lovely and comfortable, just picking up that pace slightly. Alright, very good, just slow that pace down. Good, we're going to roll those shoulders back, rolling those shoulders back for four, three, two, and one. Good, give those arms a shake out. Give me some of your best teenager shrugs. 
Shrug those shoulders up to those ears and relax back down. So, and down. And relax. Keep those arms shake out. Excellent. So use that chair to support. Walk those feet out to the side. Just keep those toes tapping if you're standing or even sitting. And what we're going to do is we're going to reach down to the side, back up to the middle, and then we're going to have a little twist around to the same side. Good, so bend, and a little twist round. And we're going to do two more on this side, a little bend down to the side, and a little twist. Last one, bend, and a little twist. Very good, same on the other side, all right? So we have a little bend, and a little twist. Good, three more in your own pace. Keep those feet moving, keep breathing. That's very important, aren't we? Is that three or four, Jodie? I think that's three now. Okay. <laughs> three more. And back to your walk, yeah. Thank you for clarifying that. <laughs> Good. All right. If we're doing the standard version, use that chair for support. You can do some toe taps behind, push the heel onto the floor. If you're doing the seated version, then follow Jodie. She takes the foot out in front of her. Pulling those toes up towards the ceiling. If you're doing the seated version, you feel that stretch just down in that calf muscle. Very good. One more on each side for me. And once you've done, then you can go back to your march. And we're going to start to pick that pace up a little bit more, okay? So we're going to go into the rear walk. So feel free to bring those arms back in if you're feeling comfortable. Remember your good posture. So if you slump down in the chair already, make sure you sit nice and upright in that working zone. This Joe is very well demonstrating that. Thank you. <laughs> so that's the eight after a while. It does. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. All right, back to your toe taps out in front for me then, okay? And you can give that one arm, or both arms, a little bit of a swing. And we can go for the one, the two, the two on the same side with those legs. So one, two, and two on the same side. Remember, if you want to use that chair for support, you can. You can just swing one of the arms, keeping one of the hands on that chair. Good. And last one. Do, do, do. And back too much again. A nice quick march. And a little bit faster if you can. Get those feet moving. Very good. Slow that pace down. Good. Walk those feet out to the side. And we're going to have a quick step back to the middle. Okay. Slowly out to the side. Just take the where it's comfortable for your hips. Walking slowly out and shuffle those feet back in. Nice and quickly. Good, one more. Very good, and back to your march again. Have a good swing of those arms, picking up that pace a little bit more. Hopefully you've moved up that scale, you're around that sort of light area, finding your breathing, just coming up, feeling a bit warmer. Good, and a nice quick march at the end here. All right, very good, everyone. Just slow that pace down slightly. Keep those feet moving for me. Grab yourselves a drink, and then we're gonna move into the main phase of the activity. Have a slurp of water. Good. And we're going to start off with those half stars. So stepping out to the side. So use that chair for support. And you can bring in one of those arms just corresponding with your legs. So depending on how high you bring that arm or how far you step out. And the speed at which you do it will increase the intensity of that activity. So if you're finding things lovely and easy, you can just start to pick that pace up. Remember to stick within your comfortable limits. 
If you find things difficult, just slow that pace down, reduce that range of movement, even leave the arms out altogether, whether you're doing a seated or doing a standing version of the activity. Good, we're over halfway through this minute now, doing really well, everyone. Feel free to pop a bit of music on if you want to, but kind of keep it a little bit low so you can listen to our instructions. Who wouldn't want to listen to us? And nothing too jazzy, nothing too fast. You thrash metal fans out there. Good, let's go back to that march again. Your first resistance exercise, okay, we're just going to be upright row. So grab one of your weights for me, hold it down in front of you, and all we're going to do, keeping those feet moving, keeping a good upright posture, is roll up to your mid chest, like you're pulling up that big zip, and then back down again. Okay. Leading with the elbows first, okay, so elbows up, weights follow behind. Try and keep those feet moving. So remember, if you find yourself a little bit unstable, then follow Jody. okay? So sit on the chair, and you can just continue with that action, just doing the seated version, and then you can try and join me for the cardiovascular again in just a moment. Again, okay, a couple more repetitions. Last one. Very good, pop those weights down to one side. Let's go back to our march and we're gonna go into those toe taps when you're ready. So toe tapping out in front. And we can bring those arm swings back in. Bringing them up a little bit higher than we did before if you're feeling comfortable to. Remember, use your chair for support, just do the one arm if you need to. And we can always do one in front, two in front, one to the side, two to the side. So front, front, side, side. Just to confuse matters, give you a bit more entertainment in your session today. And for anyone else in your household. Just remember to check yourselves on that board scale. So if you've got it in your patient booklets at home, then have that out in front of you, just to keep referring to. Or if you can see the ball scale behind us, just keep having a look at that and just checking you in your own comfortable limits. Very good. Let's go back to our march again. We're going to go into our next active recovery exercise, which is going to be our chest press. So grab both your weights for me. Keep those feet moving. Hands around chest height. And all we're going to do is going to push out in front and then relax to the middle again. So pushing out in front and relax to the middle. Good. Remember to maintain your breathing. You might find it starts to really make your shoulders achy after a while, so feel free to pop the weights down to one side when that happens, and you can continue without the weights. Or just have a march of those feet up to the end of the minute. We're over halfway through, doing really well. Strengthening those muscles is so important to do, to keep us doing our daily activities. We all need that muscle strength to do it. We all do, all of us. Good, last one. Excellent, very good. Pop those weights down to one side again. We're gonna go into our march. And then we're gonna go into those heel digs. Heel digging out in front, so heels down to the floor, toes off the floor. And we're gonna bring in one or both of those arm curls, okay? Depending on your feeling. And if you need to use that chair for support. So heel digging out in front, give those arm curls, good curl up. A little bit faster if you're finding it nice and comfortable, or slow that pace down if you're finding it a little bit too much. As Jenny says, just have a check on that walk scale, see how you're feeling. Can you still talk? Very good. And you can always go for the one, the two, the two on the same side if you like. That's entirely up to you. You don't have to. Just keeps things a little bit more interesting. Not saying that we're not interesting, obviously. We're very interesting, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. You can laugh at me for not being able to keep count. Very good. Right, back to your march again. Very good. You're going to need your weights again. We're going to go for the bicep curl. Keeping those feet wiggling away. Do the seated version if you want to. Elbows tucked into the side. We're bringing the waist up towards our shoulders and then back down again. Three seconds up. Three seconds back down. Nice and comfortable. 
So isolating this bicep muscle. So when you're picking things up off the side, you're picking up the kettle or something, these are the muscles you're using to pick that up. See how important it is to keep that strong, so you won't be able to have your cup of tea afterwards. That's very important. That is very important. My favourite cup of tea of the day, that one is. <laughs> <laughs> very good. We've got time for one more. Very good. Pop those weights to one side. And we're going to have a march of those feet, march of those feet away, and we're going to do our march and sprints, okay? If you want to continue just to march through this minute, you're more than welcome to, but you're more than, you can also join us for those sprints, okay? So on the count of three, one, two, three, sprinting those feet, just a few seconds, and then back to our march again. Very good, have a bit of recovery. If you find your breathing getting up a bit too much doing it, just stick with the march, that's perfectly fine. And again, one, two, three, sprint those feet. And back to your march again. Got time for one more. Then you're all excited about it. And one, two, three, sprint in those feet. Excellent. And back to your march again. Good. A few seconds of march, just up to the end of the minute. Good, and grab your weights again. We're going to do our tricep extensions out behind, all right? So our backwards arm press. So keep the arms fairly straight, keep those feet moving. All we do is take the arms slowly behind, and then back underneath the again, okay? So slowly behind, and underneath. And hopefully, you'll be able to isolate it, put it just down here in your tricep muscle, or as Jodie calls it, the bingo wing. The bingo wing. Everyone knows what you need to say about that. I do indeed. <laughs> Nice and slowly back, feel that tension in that tricep or that bingo wing, and then relax like that. Try and maintain your posture as you do this. Good. I've got one more after this, doing really well. Absolutely. It's gone quickly. It has. It's having so much fun. Very good. Pop those weights down to one side, back to your march again. We're going to pick up that box step, all right? So step into the corners of your box. So forwards, forwards, and back, back. Making that box as big or as small as you want to. And then you can bring those hands in, all right? If you want to increase that intensity, but remember to have a think about how you're feeling. If you want to keep one hand in contact with the chair, just do the one arm. And you can do four on one side, and then if you want to, you can leave with the other legs to switch things around. And even more difficult doing with one hand. <laughs> Very good, everyone. Keep going. We've got a few more seconds. Then we're going to go into our final active recovery exercise. Excellent. Let's go back to our march again. Grabbing your weights for the last time, we're going to do our lateral arm raises, okay? So these are the ones we've all done before. So wiggling those feet, and we're going to take the arms slowly out, no hard in your shoulder, and then slowly back down again. Again, you're going to feel this in your shoulders quite quickly, so if you find this a bit too much, those muscles are getting fatigued very quickly, then just release those weights down to one side, and continue with the movement without them, or just have a march of those feet up to the end of the minute. This is the last exercise, so well done everyone. Just remember to breathe with this one and keeping those feet gently moving if you're seated. Got time for a couple more. Good one, doing really well. Last one. Excellent. Very good. Pop those weights down to one side. Excellent. Well done, everyone. You've done your main phase of your exercise there. That's your circuit done. Remember, don't stop suddenly you're doing your exercise. We want to have that good cool down now. So grab yourself a drink. Stay standing if you're standing and you feel comfortable to. If you do want to at this point, if you're feeling a bit tired, you can by all means join Jodie. We're going to do that. We're going to do that cool down. I'm going to stay standing for the next five minutes. But if you want to join Jodie for the seated version, you're more than welcome to. But we are all going to come seated in about five minutes. 
Excellent. All right, so just start slowing that pace down. Very good. And we're going to go so much heel digs out in front. So heel digging out in front. So reducing the pace down, reducing that range of movement. You'll feel your breathing start to cut back down a lot more comfortable. Just over this next 10 minutes. Good. And again, slowing that pace down a little bit more. Reduce that range of movement slightly. So you're just doing small heel digs out in front. And let's go back to that walk. Good. Let's do some small knee raises, all right? So just raising that knee up and back down. So a little bit slower than we did before. You can touch lightly onto the opposite knee. You might find you need that support from the chair as we slow this movement down because it really does start to affect your balance. Focus on something ahead of you just to help. Those of you seated, you don't need to bring up the knee too high. You don't want to be going above, above your hip height. So it's just taking that foot about an inch or so off the ground. You get all the benefits. Okay, we can do one more on each side. I'm feeling nice to you today. And let's go back to that walk. Nice gentle walk now, slowing that pace right down. So if you're doing the seated version, you might want to just do your toe taps as Jodie's doing. And we'll have some little toe taps out in front. So toe tapping out in front. Good. And back to your walk again. If you're doing the standing version, okay, we're going to do a toe tap to the front, to the side, to the back. If you're doing the seated version, you're going to do a toe tap to the front, the side, and then back out in front, okay? So with one of your feet, you're going to tap to the front, to the side. If you're standing, you can tap behind and to the middle again. And with the other leg, to the front, to the side, back if you're standing, or forward if you're seated, and back to the middle. Have a little wiggle with those feet. And we'll do one more, even slower now if you can, all right? So toe tap to the front, to the side, behind or in front, and then back to the middle again. Last one. Excellent. And a walk with those feet. Very good. Give your legs a bit of a shake out. We've done a lot of work. Good. So we're going to do one of our strengthening exercises for our legs. We're going to do our outer thigh strengthener. So... This is the last exercise we're going to do while standing, all right? So you can use the back of the chair for support. If you're doing a seated version, all right, all you're going to do is take your foot round to one side and back to the middle, okay? If you're doing the standard version, all you're going to do is raise one of your legs up to the side and back down. Remember to focus on something to help with your balance, all right? And you can change over to the other leg, so raise that one up. So slowly up and slowly down, or slowly round and slowly back to the middle. And hopefully you'll feel it in the outer part of your thigh, okay? So three seconds up and three seconds back down. Good. So when you're getting in and out of the shower or in and out of a car, these are the muscles that you use to bring your leg round. They're also very important when it comes to your walking. So it helps stabilize you when you take that step. Good. We're going to do two more on each side after this one. So slowly up and slowly back down. Really feel it work down the outer part of the thigh. Just do as many as you can remember and have a little walk with those feet once you've had enough. And we're going to do our last one. Very good. And back to that walk again. Very good. Give those legs a bit of a shake up. I'm sure you're pleased to finish doing that. <laughs> Good, so if you're still standing, well done. <laughs> and we're going to all come seated, all right? So just come around to the front of the chair. Stick your bum out, slowly lower yourself into the chair. Remember, like Joe just been doing the whole time, hip rolls to the front, working position, sitting nice and upright in the chair. Just keep those toes tapping away nice and comfortably. Good, arms down by the side. Let's do some of those shoulder rolls, rolling those shoulders back.
Relax those arms now. Take the hands towards the back of the chair, either on the base or onto the rear of the chair, depending on your flexibility. Just push that chest out in front. Maintain your breathing as we do this. Keep those toes tapping away nice and comfortably. Good. And again, release off. Cross those arms a few times in front. Excellent. Give those arms a shake out. Very good. All right, we're going to do an ankle strengthener, all right? So feet hip width apart. You're going to bring your knees into the middle. So you're going to bring, make a fist with your hand, all right? Place it in between your knees, and you're trying to keep your knees in contact with your fist in the middle. We're going to turn the toes into the middle, so they're pointing at each other. So with our left foot to begin with, all right? Keeping the foot in contact with the floor. So imagine your feet are in the sand at the beach, okay? On which I know seems a long way off being able to go back to. All right, and you're gonna drag your foot out to the side and then back to the middle again. And you can do the same with the right foot. So keep that foot in contact with the floor, drag it out and drag it in. So imagine you're doing a little windscreen wiper with your foot, out and in. And again with the other foot, out and in. Very good, we're gonna do one more just like this. So remember keeping your knees in contact with your hands, out and in. And again, out and in. Very good, hold it there for a moment. So if you find that lovely and easy, we can make it a little bit harder, which we'll do now. If you find that, is, you know, you can feel that working in your ankles, keep doing that for me. Those who want a little bit more of a challenge, we're going to take the foot out. We're going to do a little toe raise back down to the middle and a little toe raise. And you'll feel that working just a little bit more down the front of the leg. So again, out to the side, toe raise, back to the middle and toe raise. Good, so whichever one works for you, we're just going to do four more repetitions on each side. So to the side, to the middle, to the side, and to the middle. Good. And to the middle, out, and to the middle. Good. Two more on each side, doing really well. So hopefully you can fit it down in those ankles, down the front of your shin maybe as you do this. So again, it really helps with your support of your ankles as you do your walking to keep them nice and strong. It's our last one, isn't it? Yes. Thank you, Jodie. <laughs> you struggle with counting. Very good. And give those feet a bit of a wiggle out. Good. Find a spot on the floor in front of you. We're just going to ease it off. We're doing some heel toes on that same spot. So heel toes on that same spot. Again, you feel stretching those muscles out that we've just been using. And then switch over to the other foot. So heel toe on that same spot on the other foot. And we'll just finish off with those normal leg stretches that we usually do. Good, hold your feet there, have a wiggle of those feet. Heel dig out one of your feet out in front, sitting nice and upright in your chair, pop your hands on that supporting leg. Toes pointing forwards to begin with. And you're just going to flex forward from that position. Hopefully you feel that stretch just at the back of that leg and that upper part of the thigh, just down the rear. Hold that position. Keep breathing while doing this. Hold that a little bit longer. Good. And just relax back out. We're going to pull the toes up towards the ceiling. You can probably already feel that stretch move down further into the leg. You're going to sit nice and upright in your chair. If you don't find it very much, you can just have a little ease forward, remember, from the hips and you feel that stretch just down in the calf muscle, so a bit further down the leg. Excellent. And relax out. Have a wiggle of those feet. Change over to the other leg. So heel dig out in front, toes pointing forwards to begin with, sitting nice and upright, hands in that supporting leg. Flex forwards with a stretch increase up the back of those legs. Hold that position just for a moment. Maintain that breathing, remember. I'm sure you wouldn't have forgotten by now, though. How could you? <laughs> Good. Back up. Pull the toes up towards your nose. Sitting nice and upright. Feel that stretch increase down further in the leg. And again, flex forwards. Excellent. And relax slowly back out. Give your feet a bit of a kick out. You can ease back to the back of the chair now and relax there. You have done your session all right. Now it's still an important time to go and put that kettle on. <laughs> well done, everyone. 
So as always, just a reminder, if any of you have got any queries, any concerns or wish to discuss anything, then um, one of us cardiac nurses are always on triage dur during the week. Um, so we're always available if, um, if you do have any queries or concerns. Um, and similarly, if any of you have got any queries about your exercise, then Matt's always on hand um, to be able to, to answer any queries during the week as well. As always, we are trying to make our way through contacting you all, but obviously it is taking us a little bit longer at present, so please don't be afraid to contact us in between time. Good. So remember, this video is also available on the West Coast YouTube channel, which you can use at a later date. So those of you that are using this in the afternoon or evening time, hello to you. Um, hope you've enjoyed the session. Um, remember, you can do about it now. Um, so, yeah, so you're more than welcome to come back and use this as at a later time. Make sure you leave that data recovery between over and repeating this video or another video from uh, a massive catalogue now, okay? It's getting quite extensive. Um, so you can go back and use one of those. All right, good. Well done, everyone. They've done really well today. Brilliant. Well done. Take care, and we'll see you on Tuesday. Back on Tuesday. Bye. Bye.